Welcome to this old house. A tiered serving tray makes a great gift, and nobody needs to know you didn't sweat over a lath to make one. We used turned furniture legs from the home center for the posts. To get started, cut a 1 half by 12 inch oak board into three square trays, one measuring 8 inches, one 10 inches, and one 11 and a half inches. Find the center of each board. Using a drill driver fitted with a quarter inch bit, bore a hole through the center of each tray. Mark and miter the edge trim to fit the perimeter of the trays. We chose oak shelf trim for our tray. Alternate dabs of wood glue and super glue to the back of the edge trim and set it in place flush with the bottom of the trays. The super glue gives you a fast bond without having to use a nail gun. The wood glue gives it a long lasting hold. For the feet, cut oak one by two into four blocks, each an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Apply a dab of super glue to the four corners on the underside of your base tray and glue the feet in place. You'll need to remove the bolts from the table legs that will make up the tray's top and middle posts. We used locking pliers for that, but left the bolt for the bottom post in place. Thread a dowel screw into the spots where you removed the bolt. To prepare the posts, use the drill driver to bore an eighth inch pilot hole into the bottom one. Then drill a one quarter inch hole into the top. Stop at a depth of about three quarters of an inch on each and repeat on the middle post. Now it's time to assemble the server. Slip the dowel screw of the middle post through the top tray, threading it through the opening of the top post. Next, slip the dowel screw of the bottom post through the middle tray, threading it through the opening of the middle post. Slip the base onto the bolt of the bottom post and fasten it with a nut and washer on its underside. All assembled, stain the piece to finish. We chose an oxidizing stain made from vinegar, steel wool, and salt. Now you're ready to entertain.